all right guys welcome back to the channel this is probably the most horrific video you ever going to see in your life this demon cop i call him demon because that is exactly what he is he responded to sonia massey house and just because she rebuked him in the name of jesus he killed her for it and i don't know this woman and i'm assuming she had a a, a christian background because whenever someone say i rebuke you in the name of jesus that person definitely had a christian background i don't know if she was actively a christian but i'm going to show you this video it's going to be horrific if you're not ready please do not watch this video especially if you're a christian it's going to hurt you it's going to feel personal take a look Justice has opened an investigation into the killing of a black woman by an Illinois sheriff's deputy who shot her inside her home earlier this month. The probe comes after body camera footage was released, sparking protests and calls for accountability. William Brangham has the latest and a warning. Many viewers will find this footage disturbing. The community of Springfield, Illinois, is calling for justice. After 36-year-old Sonia Massey was shot and killed by a sheriff's deputy inside her home on July 6th, law enforcement was there because she called 911 to report a prowler. The local sheriff's office released this body camera footage yesterday, which shows two deputies searching outside Massey's property for the suspected prowler. So what'd you hear? Uh, somebody outside my house. Uh... And then, after finding no one, Deputy Sheriff Sean Grayson talks with a confused-seeming Massey on her front porch. Please, God, please, God. I'm trying to get help, y'all, but... What do you need help with? At one point, Grayson asks Massey about her mental health. L let me pause the video for a second. A lot of people are saying this cop right here is demon-possessed. I, I don't think so, because when a demon possesses a person... A de the demon take complete control of you. You no longer con you no lo you are no longer in control of your body. So I don't think this guy was demon possessed, but he was definitely demon influenced because this, this is an act of a demon. This is an act of an evil person to kill somebody just be just because the person rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Whatever that that was inside this man, whatever that was inside this cop right here that's standing in front of her door, when she said Jesus, something inside of him. Uh, it had to come out. He had to respond. He see that has a threat, as you're about to see. Let's continue with the video. Sorry to interrupt, but the best way to support this channel is by subscribing so other people can see it. Back to the video. You're not in trouble. A few minutes Massey. later, Massey and the deputies are inside, getting information to file their report. I just, just driver's license will do, and I'll get out of your hair. Deputy Grayson asks Massey to turn off a pot of water that's boiling on her stove. We don't need a fire while we're here. Holding the pot, Massey then twice says, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus, which Deputy Grayson immediately treats as a threat. Massey is hit in the face and drops to the ground. For at least six minutes, the other deputy applies pressure to her wound while they wait for medics to arrive. At one point, Deputy Grayson is heard implying that her injury is so grave that he's, quote, not going to waste his medical supplies on her. Massey was later pronounced dead at the hospital. In a Facebook post, Sangamon County Sheriff's Office confirmed Deputy Grayson had been fired from the department, writing, it is clear that the deputy did not act as trained or in accordance with our standards. You know what I want? I want justice for my baby. Massey's father, James Wilburn, spoke after the footage was made public. The sheriff is here is an embarrassment because this man should have never had a badge. He should have never had a gun. He should have never been given the opportunity to kill my child mm. because he had some serious blemishes, blemishes on his record. Mm -hmm. Serious. This man had two convictions for DUI. He had a conviction for driving under the influence. And he was a member of law enforcement. <laughs> my Lord. What an embarrassment. Mm -hmm. What an embarrassment. 
to this country, to this county. Civil rights attorney Ben Crump is representing the Massey family. She was dealing with some issues. She needed a helping hand. She didn't need a bullet to the face. President Joe Biden also weighed in, saying, quote, Sonia's death at the hands of a responding officer reminds us that all too often, black Americans face fears for their safety in ways many of the rest of us do not. And in her own statement, Vice President Kamala Harris decried this as a senseless death and reiterated calls for Congress to pass the George Floyd Justice in Policing Act, which she co-authored. Uh, all this politician stuff, you know, politician cannot fix this evil that is going on in the world. Only Jesus Christ can fix what's going on in this world. I don't care how many laws they pass. I don't care how many trained, trained cops that they have out there. Uh, this world is evil. The Bible said the whole world is lying under, pow under the power of the wicked one. And this man was definitely wicked, you know, to take her life just because she rebuked you in the name of Jesus. And after he pointed the gun at her and she said, I'm sorry, and he still shot her to death. This man was definitely demon influence. You know, uh, the solution to America is not any politician, is not Trump, is not Biden, is not Kamala Harris, none of that. The answer to America problem is Jesus Christ. That's the only solution to this problem. And we are living in the last day. Oh, man, this is just... And for the father in the video, can you imagine as a father? I'm a father. Can you imagine as a father and you, you receive this call and they tell you your daughter has been shot to death by a police officer? It's horrifying. It's crazy to think that, you know, this could happen to anybody. All right, guys, the solution to America's problem is Jesus Christ. Subscribe to the channel. Please let me know what you think in the comment below, and I'll see you on the next video. Take care.